Hey everyone, how's it going? Mark from Team Toronto Tech here, bringing you another how-to video. And today's how-to video topic is gonna to be how to install Chrome OS on a virtual machine. Um, this does work for Mac and PC. I'm gonna show you on the Mac side. On the PC side, it's the exact same instructions, except for you're gonna be using a different virtual uh, machine software. Um, so let's just get right into it, guys. Um, so we're gonna be going to a site uh, called Neverware. It's a software uh, provided by Cloud Ready. Um, once you get to the site, I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, you're gonna wanna scroll down and click on the download here. It's gonna be download, Cloud Ready, Home Edition, um, oh, the OVA file. Now there's technically two different versions of this, um, what they consider a home version and an enterprise version. Home version is still full version of Chrome OS. However, it does not allow you to administrate it like you would um, an enterprise version. Now, I'm not gonna go into too many details on the different versions, but I will leave a link to the, in the description on the information there. So once you go to this site here, you're gonna wanna click on secure to download. Um, it will take a moment to download. I've already downloaded it, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click cancel here. Once it's downloaded, you will need to unzip the folder. Uh, I chose to unzip it to my desktop right here. So let's click on the folder, see what we got in here. The two important files we have here is our BMBK and our OVF uh, uh, here. All right, so now we got um, our virtual machine files. Now we need to get the virtual machine software. So what we're gonna be using on the Mac side is a software called VMware Fusion. Um, this is a 30 day free trial. Um, unfortunately, it's not uh, free after 30 days, but what is nice on the PC side, if you're a PC user, um, you can use VMware Workstation um, Player and it is actually free for non-commercial uh, or enterprise use. Um, so once we get to the link here, um, this is in the description of the video. We're going to go ahead and click download and it's going to provide us two options. Um, we can try Fusion 11 or try Fusion 11 Pro. Um, I just did 11. I mean, you know, it, it'll work for our purposes here. Um, I've already downloaded it and installed it, so I'm not going to go through that. Now on the PC side, um, you're gonna do VMware um, Workstation Player. Um, it does say try here, but again, for non-enterprise or business uses, it is 100% free. Um, there's no trial or anything like that. So if you're a PC user and you wanna mess around with Chrome, um, definitely use VMware Workstation Player. Okay, so now we have our VM files downloaded and we have our VMware Fusion um, program downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up VMware Fusion and click File, Import. We're gonna choose a file, we'll go back to our desktop and we're gonna click on the um, OVF here, click Open, click Continue. And we can name it, so I'm just gonna name it Chrome OS. And perfect, it's gonna start importing uh, the, the VM file here. It is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and start it back up when the import is done. Okay, so now that our um, virtual machine has finished importing, uh, we got a couple options here. We can just we can click finish if we want to. We can customize the settings. This will allow us to change some of the hardware specs of the machine. I'm going to go ahead and customize settings because, as you can see here, it's just it's going to use four cores right away. Uh, I don't have that powerful of a machine right now, so I'm going to I want to change this. You know, customize settings. Go to processor. I'm take this down to two cores. If you see here, you do have a bunch of other uh, settings and options you can go through if you like. Click cancel here. Awesome, looks like it's done. I'm just gonna verify real quick. If you right click on the machine, you can see that it's imported. Settings again, go back to processor and memory. Perfect, two cores. All right, so we got our virtual machine, uh, our Chrome OS imported into uh, VMware Fusion. Um, now we are ready to start it up and go through some of the setup process. Uh, very simple and easy. You notice this is a little bit slow. Um, again, I'm not on the fastest computer. So for some of you out there that might have a really powerful iMac or 
really powerful desktop PC. It's probably gonna go a lot quicker for you. So I'm gonna play. Uh, one thing that is important here, you're gonna get a, a warning um, right when you do the import. It says an upgrade virtual machine offers support for a new feature that cannot be used by earlier versions of VMware Fusion until you downgrade it. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna upgrade our virtual machine. So again, this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, my full screen here. Now while this uh, takes time to load, I'm gonna talk about Cloud Ready. Uh, Cloud Ready offers um, you know, a couple other products that, that they have. One of them that I think is really awesome is you can actually install Chrome OS on an existing Mac PC. Uh, a Mac or PC. Um, now, you know what that means is it will actually function as a Chrome, uh, you know, Chromebook or Chromebox. Um, this is super helpful for, say, you know, organizations that want to move to Chrome uh, OS, but they don't have the funds to uh, for a subscription. You can actually just walk around with a thumb drive, um, you know, and install Chrome OS. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description on how to do that. I did it on my personal laptop a couple days ago. Super simple, and um, actually the Chrome box works great. Uh, really excited with the results there. Okay, so we're getting to the part here of the setup. It's a little bit longer. All right. Awesome, we are now setting up Chrome OS in our VM uh, environment here. We click Let's Go, connect to a network. It's going to say Ethernet because it's basically just you know, bridging or tethering off of our wireless or uh, physical connection on our computer. Go to next. Um, we can you know, select the send metrics or not, I'm just going to be selected. Continue. Let's we'll then check for updates here. Um, it's going to have a sign in to a Gmail account. Again, this is a little bit slow on my end. I am using a kind of dated MacBook Air for these videos. So if you have a better system than me, I'm sure this will go a lot quicker. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sign in here. I'm just gonna use my um, uh, Chronotech email. Once we're done signed in, it's going to pull in our preferences from our account and we will be inside of Chrome OS on a virtual machine. Definitely recommend to skip forward some of these uh, like moments here. <laughs> Apologize for the slowness of my machine, but uh, bear with me here and we'll be right into the Chrome OS. All right, we can do profile picture if we want to. I'm just going to email. Okay. There we are. We are inside Chrome OS. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll have links in the description to everything that I talked about. Definitely give Cloud Ready a look if you're um, wanting to do a switch from Windows or PC out of your business or uh, enterprise level. Um, anyway, like, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.